we'll get started right now. I'm going to do this live tutorial. And this suite that I'm showing you will not be available until September 1st. Hi, Loretta. So this won't be available till September 1st, but it's the Seasonal Bells stamp set, and it has a coordinating punch. And you know, it's so funny because if you're my customer or if you've been a class member, most of you have already received your holiday catalogs in the mail from me. I shipped them all out last week. So everybody should have had received theirs by now if you're my customer. If you would like to receive a customer, I mean a catalog, a holiday catalog, place any size order on my pink stamper.stampinup.net, any size order, and I will get a catalog out to you with your thank you card that I sent in the mail. Hi Jeannie, hi Christine. Okay, so this will not be available till September 1st. So what I was going to say is when I was looking through the holiday catalog, and I can't flip it open yet until September 1st for you guys, um, but I looked through and I thought, oh, I'm not sure if that's one I'm gonna love. I, I'm not sure I'll get it to play with it. And I absolutely love the card that I created today and I am I might even do a class with it because I loved it that much. So what's great about this is it has season's greetings, Christmas, best wishes on your wedding day. Um, so you could make a wedding card with it. And I think mine is a wedding card. Is mine? Let me see. Oh. Oh, mine is a Christmas card. I'm looking at the sample that I already made. So I already made this card and sent it off to the swap hostess. Um, but I'm making a wedding card because, you know, I really don't ever have any of those prepared. And I'm in Utah now. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of weddings. Hi, Jill. Um, so I was messing around with it, and I love how the card turned out. I'm so excited. So I'm using... The silver uh, foil sheets, and um, I'm also using this. This is, I don't have the name of it in front of me. It comes with Sweet Sugar Plum, and it's also available September 1st. It's from the Holiday Catalog. And so um, I'm just using the silver, and I love it. I know I'm going to go through a lot of this. Okay, what else am I using? Rhinestones. I'm using the Sweet Sugar Plum ink pad. And I'm also using the Layering Circles Framelits. And I think this is called Hatched. I don't have my catalog in front of me. The Hatched Embossing Folder. So I'm gonna make a card for you from beginning to end. Hi Yolanda, hi Autumn, hi Norma Jean. Okay, so, and I'm also using my Big Shaw, it's over here. Big Shaw, Big Shaw, I love it. Okay, so people are asking me, and I had a couple of you guys order Big Shots yesterday for me. If you order a Big Shot, I'm doing a promotion right now, and I'll, I'm will i doing it for a while. If you order a Big Shot, I will send you a precision base plate. So those are $25 plus tax and shipping, so they're around $30. Um, but I'm throwing that in for free, especially for my class members, because you will need the that for your sweet cupcake class. We're going to be, uh, that class comes with the framelits or the thinlets. Okay, so let me make this card for you quickly. And then, let me see what I'm going to do first. Okay, these are the ones I need first. These pieces right here. Um, and then we'll go ahead and talk about my class, my sweet cupcake class. Hi, Angela. Welcome, guys. It's, it's early here. Well, not really. <laughs> that sounds so bad. I actually was able to sleep in a little bit today. I can't believe it. I have two children that drive and one of them works and one of them has tennis. So we did have a little car drama this morning, but we'll figure that out, you know, right? For those of you who have teenagers that drive, you know that's just something regular you deal with. Okay, so I'm using the Sweet Sugar Plum and I'm just using this one here. And let me show you which one it is. It's this one right here. One of my favorite bells <laughs> out of the four. There's four bells. Okay, so we're gonna stamp this and stamp it twice once, ink it up, stamp it, set this aside. And now while we have our ink out, let's go ahead and grab this piece of paper here. And this is cut at five inches right here, five inches across. Hi, Julie. Hi, Beth. Oh, my nails match. Thank you. I just got them done actually. And I painted them myself. I got them well, a nail break. I actually got my acrylic nails put back on. I haven't had them in a long time, like four or five years, maybe four years. And um, I got them back on because I can do the gel myself, so I just painted them myself, which is so much easier for me um, to do that. Uh, hi, Julie. 
Okay, so anyway, this is cut at three and three quarters by five inches. And my nails are plum, but I guess they could go match with sugar plum. Okay, so I'm using the best wishes, and you think it's on your wedding day, right? Oh, best wishes as the wedding bell bells ring. And I'm going to stamp it down here, right there, and set that aside. And that's the only stamping we're doing on this card. So let's set our ink pad aside. And now set this paper aside. Okay, let's pull our open our punch. Now Stampin' Up's punches lie flat. You just turn them upside down and push that forward. And all you do is put your paper in, line it upside down. And then you punch it. Punch it and then do the same thing. Do this with my left hand here. Probably won't be as good, huh? Okay. Ta-da! Oops. Okay. And then I like to put away as I'm doing my projects. You guys know that. It's easier. It'd be, I showed a picture yesterday on my Instagram. I'm Robin Stamps with a Y. Um, of my scrapbook room. And I had so many people say, that's not messy. Well, it really wasn't the messiest it's ever been. But it was kind of, it was on its way. So I had to clean it up today. So I, since I'm preparing classes and I do all my online classes, I have to have my tables clean. There's no way for me to prepare a large class. Um, with a messy area. So the surrounding areas are all messy and the tables kind of stay clean. I have to do it that way. All right, so the first thing I'm using, I'm using the new Molt Big Shot um, platform. And this comes, when you order a Big Shot now, you actually get this new platform where the top just comes off and then you put it back on. So if you're going to be using the embossing folder, which we're going to do first, you just take the top off. And before it opened up and it was just really long and kind of got in the way, and then I'm using these plates, which also come with the Big Shot. Okay. And we're using our hatched. And then I'm going to stick my, let's see, I can't remember. I think this is two inches or one and three quarters. Two inches by five inches. And let's stick that in here. Okay, and put that on here. Let's, where's my top? Where's my lid? There we go. And then just roll it through. And it's very, it stays flat. It's nice. It doesn't like bump all around and rock back and forth. So that's, I love having my big shot. Okay, so let's take this out. And this is our, so for my flat paper, if you've never used an embossing folder or a machine like this, I love them. They're my absolute favorite. Okay, so let's set that aside. And now we're going to use the largest circle from Layering Circles. I'm putting my adapter on, and I'm going to put the bottom plate, and I'm putting my silver foil sheet. And I'm just going to put this on here. Hopefully I grabbed a big enough piece of scrap paper. And then I'm going to just roll it through, like that. And now I can set, ah, let me get this out of here. The hard thing about having my nails again is I'm seriously not used to not being able to pick things up very easily. So let's try to get used to that again. Okay, so all I needed is, all I need is this piece right here. Okay, so I'm going to put this all together now. And we'll start with our back sheet of, this is the Sweet Sugar Plum. And it's cut at five and a half inches by eight and a half. So you just take a regular piece of cardstock and then you cut it in half and you have enough to make two cards. For those of you who are watching who are new, who have never ventured yet into card making, maybe you're a scrapbooker and you're not sure about cards yet. I love making cards and I started as a scrapbooker. And I love how when I make a card, it's instant gratification. It doesn't take me years to finish one book, which I love, I'm still a scrapbooker. I still have a lot to catch up on. Okay, I need, let me grab a refill. I'm going to be using my snail refill and they're really easy. You can pop them out and then let me pop my refill in. Just do everything online for you guys. Normally things that I do off camera, you get live when you're watching me live. Okay, and then we are going to just put adhesive on all four sides. When you're using anything that's embossed, like dry embossed like this, you should really put the adhesive on four sides. If you only put it on two, it's going to pop up and get all wiggly on your card. 
I know some of you guys know what I'm talking about. So this is going to be flush at the top here. So it should go all the way across and it should cover all the white part on the top. Okay. And now what are we doing next? Okay, let's go ahead and take our ribbon. So we're going to take this and again, this is a, this is a set that comes with the sugar plum. I don't have it with me. So there's sweet sugar plum shiny metallic ribbon in the new holiday catalog. You can request a catalog by placing any size order. And the reason I do that is I do have quite a bit of people that follow me on my all of my just different accounts and I really can't afford to send them all out for free, so I just require a small order, just any size order on my pinkstamper.stampinup.net, and then I will get one out to you when I send out your thank you card, because everybody who orders from me gets a thank you card, and I am behind, so if you've ordered in July and you're like, Robin, I haven't got my thank you card yet, I am working on it. And now that my kids are back in school, I am catching up. It is the greatest feeling. I actually, when they went to school on Tuesday, I got so much accomplished because I didn't have to stop what I was doing and run them to tennis or stop what I was doing and feed them lunch and <laughs> make sure they weren't fighting, make sure they got to an activity, um, played with them. So now they're in school and I'm with them in the afternoons. Then it's crazy in the afternoons, you know. Yesterday was crazy running them back and forth to tennis and piano and making sure they all got there on time. But we did it and I now I have my days back again. So... I'm getting caught up. That was my long story short. Okay, so do you guys like how I did that? And I didn't talk you through it because you probably have seen that before. So now we're going to take our two. Now this, oh, we need glue dot. So if you have a glue dot, this is the little trick that I've learned with this set because I had to make a bunch for a swap. I'm going to take the top part here and just stick a glue dot on the top part. And then I'm going to adjust it how I want my bells to look. I want them to look like this. And then just squeeze it. So there's my bells. They're all ready to go. And then I'm going to use some dimensionals. And I'm just going to put one on each. Ta-da. Easy, easy, easy. Let's see if I can peel them off with my, my nails. Okay. And now I'm just going to stick them right on here. Turn these upside down, turn this circle upside down, and I'm going to add three dimensionals one, two, and three. Put my dimensionals away. Peel this off. And are you guys ready for it? Ta da! We're just going to add. Isn't that so pretty? Isn't that so easy, you guys? I don't know if I can zoom in. Oh, I can zoom in. Oh, my. Look at that, you guys. Hi, Robin. Okay, so I'm going to add a gem. Oops, these are rhinestone rhinestones. And I'm gonna put one right at the top, if I can, with my long nails. And I do have a little tool that I can use too, but I'm good. Okay, so there is a simple wedding card you could make, or you can change this into a Christmas card. Here's the other one I made. Hope you guys enjoy it. So this will be going up on my blog today. If you're coming in late or you wanna watch this later, this is the part I'm going to edit out and I'm just going to have the card tutorial on my blog. So there's that for you guys. <laughs>